welcome back to another rugby 20 video and i told you guys that i will be keeping up to date with these phases of the beta and in today's video i'll be showcasing the newly added and arguably the most popular team in rugby at the moment and that is japan and i'll be taking on the highest rated team in the game at the moment and that is wales on pro difficulty which is the hardest level so getting this gameplay or capturing this gameplay was a bit of a struggle because it, it's kind of buggy at the moment i've gotten blue screened out of the game like three times and there's been some game breaking bugs which forced me to restart the match but apart from those little frustrations the game itself compared to the first version of of uh, of the beta it's decent the game is a little quicker as you can see already they changed some character models especially the props they are no longer obese and unfit lookings which is pleasing to the eye i guess honestly i don't really care about the graphics but there were a lot of complaints about the character models and it looks like they addressed those issues they've actually addressed a ton of issues and they've also added a few features into the game a few uh, animations a few set plays and they've even added a tutorial mode to practice your set plays and your set pieces and also goal kicking now i haven't checked out the tutorial mode yet if you're interested just let me know now all of what I mentioned is fine and whatnot, but I'm really more interested in the quality of life improvements that'll add longevity to the game and generally keep me interested in it, like the difficulty. Now they did say that they improved the semi-pro and the pro difficulty, so it should be a little harder, but honestly when I was playing I couldn't really tell the difference. The last few things that caught my attention were the player speeds, finally the backs they run faster than the forwards not only that but their stamina doesn't deplete as fast which is another great addition a large number of the gameplay features and fixes i really noticed in the first few minutes of the match of my first match and uh yeah in its current state i mean i know they got rid of a lot of bugs but they've also introduced a lot more like i said it was hard for me to play out a full 16 minute match and that's pretty much what i'm having the most trouble with the game's kind of unplayable at the moment i've already sent them feedback and i think well, well hopefully they can get a hot fix out to address some of the crashing issues that's pretty much all i've noticed off the top of my head out of those first few matches that i did play so phase two compared to phase one it's definitely a step in the right direction but i also feel like there's a lot of ironing out that needs to be done i'm not sure if there's one or two more phases remaining in this beta but uh, i'm going to jam a few more games and try to help out with feedback once again and hopefully this will be for the greater good hopefully it'll get us a step closer to a decent rugby game i'll be pinning the patch notes in the comments section and i'll also link it in the description so you can go and have a geese at the changes for yourself for now i'll let you guys enjoy the gameplay in its purest form uh, apparently they did address some of the commentary issues as well another part of the game that i'm not really interested in so i couldn't really tell if there was a difference or not but yeah as always i hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and i'll see you later davy send it on to jones oh that is such a shame they couldn't quite finish the job just needed that little bit of extra polish to work oh that was a great tackle the ball is being moved very quickly the game's trying to cut that kind of stuff out that is so dangerous and it serves no purpose either north will have 10 minutes to watch his team try and get by without it it was a dangerous thing to do so the referee's absolutely right so it's a full seven man line out That's almost a penalty, but it's well Come taken on. by Maffi. Japan, too much muscle for the defence. The Mall gets support from Francis. The Mall is stopped by Wales. An attempted tackle by Navidi, but he comes up empty. There are huge opportunities on the wings. It has been coming for some time. They've had all the momentum and they didn't flinch when it mattered. Lining up the conversion to add the extra two. And it sails between the posts. 
Great catch, that was not easy. It's a ruck, and they keep possession. Sharp passing. Great precision and really good timing for that offload. They pile into the ruck. He gives the ball. There's the tackle. Here's the ruck being created. Excellent handling. They have to get the ball to the winger. The ball is kept by Wales. They're passing the ball around well. There's not a great deal of support there. Yep, that could have gone better. Well, they tried it, but it just didn't come off. It's a ruck. Ball still in the hands of Wales. The ball is in the hands of the scrum half. Davies adding extra bodies. Very skillful handling. Oh, look at that offload. The tackle made, but the pass to Maffey. They're having to commit more numbers to the ruck. Davy makes a pass. They're going to work hard for the ball. Tipper it. Breaks free. Oh, they're really intent on keeping this ball alive. Yes, they had a hoof. The ball sent into touch by Williams. So, seven players readying themselves for this line-out. Ball nicks it. So safe under the high ball. There's the tackle. Here's the ruck being created. Great pass. This is going to be a real struggle. They've turned over the ball. The ball's moved on. Tipper it, teaming up with Adams. He's there to challenge for the ball. Davies pounces. They've got to be careful. They take the right options. And a ruck is formed. Japan turn the ruck over to take the ball. The siren goes, and that means when play stops, it'll be the end of the half. And the second half of the match underway. He gives a great clearing kick. And that's got into touch. It's a full line out. Ball held on to after the throw in. A ruts formed. They still have control of the ball. The scrum half can launch the next attack. The defense isn't set. There's a gap. Ball kept by Wales. They're moving the ball well. And the attack leads to a ruck. Wales managing to keep the ball. He passes it. Well taken. Ruck for Japan. He missed him. The ball's being moved around. Ball taken by North. Oh, that was a really soft attempt of at the tackle. He doesn't seem all there. I dare say he's injured. He looks hurt. He definitely came off second best there. I think you're right. The coach will have to take him off so he can be looked after. There's a card, and it's yellow for Davies. It's the first scrum of the match after 49 minutes. The two front rows have to want Trout. to get at each other. If you can dominate the scrum, it can create a psychological Five. advantage for the rest of the game. Set. Excellent body position from the forwards who keep their own ball. And the ball in the arms of the scrum half. Ruck forms. The ball is kept by Wales. It's a ruck. Japan put an end to the attack with that turnover. He makes a pass. Brilliant tackle. And the ball brilliantly won back by Wales. 
The ball's being nicely moved around. Some clearing out is needed there. Pass. The tackle made, but the ball kept alive. Strong work from Ball. Parks with Bigger. That tackle wasn't good enough. Navidi takes it on the outside. He'll score from there. And he grounds it to score. Yep, a try and now plenty of reasons to believe, Ben. That's right, but they should really try to avoid overcomplicating things. Bigger with a kick that could add two points to the try. Bigger with a ball kick too far left. Williams beneath the kick. It's a ruck. The defender really cut him down. Good passing. He gets back onto his feet to challenge for the ball. Oh, missed tackle. They're scrapping for the ball. He gives the ball. Play pushed back outside the 22, thanks to that up and under. The attacking team keeps the ball. It looks like they're going to try something special here, Ben, something magic. That's right, Nick. be really interesting to see what exactly. Yeah, that's how to keep the ball alive. Wonderful technique in that offload. And the Roblox to be found out wide. Oh, look at the energy, the dynamism of it all. In touch. The two teams ready for the full line out. It's still good possession for Wales. The ball is being moved very quickly. We need support. They took the ball in and it's still theirs. There's a ruck being created. The ball's being nicely moved around. They set up a ruck. So that will be a ball for Wales. It's a rock for Wales. This looks like a planned move. Yeah, Nick, it's a really well-organised attacking formation. He makes a pass. Oh, wonderful offload. An attempted tackle by... There's big gaps on the outside. Yes, it's a try! Oh, they gave it a go and it worked perfectly. They've been totally on top and been rewarded for their patience. Let's see about the conversion now. Oh, he has completely fluffed that kick. He caught that ball well, brilliantly positioned. They've recovered it. Gaps opening up out wide. He gives the ball. That's a clever pass out of the tackle. Oh, that is horrible. Look at that tackle. He's got to learn to channel that aggression and energy. Ball is shown a yellow card. Yes, and they'll have to hold out down a man for the next 10 minutes. So we'll go back to that seven man line out for Japan at the 75th minute mark. Plucked out of the air by Moore. Oh. They're really throwing their support into this Moore. <laughs> Wonderful work guiding this Moore by Moore. And the pack keeps moving forward. Oh, tremendous defense. They've just stopped that in its tracks. Wales defended the rock really well and win the ball. And now to the kicking game. No time left on the clock. We're into the red zone. Interesting, he chooses to kick. Navidi seizes the opportunity and breaches that defence. Yeah, that's how to keep the ball alive. It's a rock for Wales. They still control the ball and can go wide. Oh, that's a terribly executed pass. Terrible pass. In they go to the rock. An attempt at a tackle that went nowhere. Rock for Japan.
He gives the ball. The ball's being moved around. Missed tackle. They still control the ball and can go wide. The referee lets them play on with the advantage. There's a rock being created. The defence is missing too many tackles. End of the advantage. He passes the ball. The ball's kept alive. He's taken to the ground. Now he has to release the ball. Wales win the ball at the end of the battle. Davy finds his mate. It's a rock. Wales managing to keep the ball. Excellent handling. And a rock is formed. They keep the ball. Shingle send it on to Jones. He needs support. Japan defended the rock really well and win the ball. They're passing the ball around well. Brilliant defence. They're moving the ball well. Gets his hands free in the contact. There's not a great deal of support there. Wales managed to recover the ball. Recovered by Owens. Owens taken to the ground. Ball comes out for the scrum half. They're going to work hard for the ball. Wow, he's well and truly tackled. That's not what they planned. Oh, but it was cracking defence. There's the tackle. Here's the ruck being created. The tackle was missed. It's an advantage. And the attack leads to a ruck. They still have control of the ball. Navid breaks free, takes off. They've managed to keep possession of the ball. Davy makes a pass. They pile into the ruck. Great pass. Good passing. That tackle was nowhere near big enough. The referee says that's a ruck. The ball is kicked free. The referee ends it, and Japan win the match. Huge victory for Japan. They really put on a show. Absolutely. They just ran away with it in the end. Yep, it was magnificent. 75. Now it's time for us to say our goodbyes. Thanks again. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Ben. And I'm already looking forward to the next game, Nick.